Ninja Slayer The Animation, made by Studio Trigger that is known for making Girl Lagan and Kill a Kill, and also Ferno Cop. So they bring us Ninja Slayer, and a lot of us have been waiting very patiently for this series, and I didn't know really much about Ninja Slayer. I know the title, and that's pretty much about it. I went into this series kind of blind, and so I was expecting an interesting first episode. Now, right off the bat, I just want to tackle something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to get that out of my system. That that kind of summarizes a lot of the dialogue in this first episode. Like, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. With this first episode of Ninja Slayer, right off the bat, people are either going to hate this or you're going to love it because the animation that is going to be the main deciding factor when it comes to watching this series because the animation looks like a 2d platformer game that's kind of how the animation looks like if you were to play let's say a 2d platformer rpg or something like that or a side scroller that's kind of how the animation looks and i can see how a lot of anime watchers that are used to the 3d type models or you know the standard animation we see in normal anime are going to just instantly drop this in under two minutes two to three minutes because the animation is just so like what the fuck is this and personally i'm not really surprised because i've watched inferno cop and inferno cop oh my god that was fucking hilarious that was just so damn Funny. Like, if you never watched the Proto Cop, what are you doing? Go fucking watch it. That's amazing. Now, I want to take a few moments to point a couple things out, okay? So, when it comes to Ninja Slayer, the animation, like I said, is going to play the big role here when it comes to either the audience dropping or continuing on. And if you don't like it, well, there's not much more I could really say because it comes down to personal taste and what you like when it comes to the art and animation. Now, I will not lie to you and say that this animation of this episode was beautiful 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm not gonna say it beat a photo. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it beat any anime from this season because the animation Obviously was not the best it was definitely under budgeted, but I don't think Studio Trigger was really going for that. They weren't really trying to go for a high budgeted series They were just going for a wacky series that had some really good artistic animation And I feel like this is why I'm probably going to stay with Ninja Slayer and actually continue watching it because I like Studio Trigger style they always kind of go out of their normal standards and they love changing up their animation style even though this animation style is kind of similar to inferno comp it is kind of different still because they adjust the different scenes like some scenes you'll see like you know a platformer 2d top style animation and then all of a sudden you'll get into like some cool looking 3d top animation and then you'll see some cg just the way studio trigger goes out of the comfort zone and they change up their standard normalized style when it comes to animation art it makes me just want to see where it's going to go now in terms of plot it's very straightforward very simple it's our main male character he's getting the shit knocked out of him at the beginning of the episode he's fighting these two ninjas that are trying to kill him and we find out that ninjas killed his wife and child he wants to get revenge he was about to die then this weird being came out of nowhere gave him another chance turned him into a ninja slayer and then he hunts down this organization that killed his family so he's kind of like the punisher that's kind of what the ninja slayer is he, he is the punisher now is it worth watching I really can't say. It, like I said, this comes down to your personal preference of animation art. That That is the big decider here. Like, if you can get past the animation and art, you're going to like the series. I, I'm willing to bet it. You'll probably like the series. Now, if you do like this series, I'm going to recommend watch Inferno Cop because it was Studio Trigger's other series they made that was similar to this series in terms of animation, but it's just so off the walls. It's like... It's like Ghost Rider. That, that's kind of what Inferno Cop is. It's Ghost Rider. It, it's fucking hilarious. It really is. You, you really need to go watch if you liked Ninja Slayer. And there's not much to really go more on to because, I mean, it's a very simple first episode. Straightforward. It's quick to the point. And yeah, tell me your thoughts. I mean, how'd you feel about Ninja Slayer? Did you expect this type of animation? Did you expect what happened? Oh yeah, I noticed uh, a lot of the music sounded like Naruto. Like, did anyone else feel that music? Like, when I was listening to this music in this episode, it felt like Naruto music. It did. Might just be me. Anyways, you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi